Hello guys, welcome to uh, today's Linux command tutorial for Python developer. Today I'm gonna show you how you can work with directories. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you some basic commands, uh, pwd, print current working directory, cd change directory, absolute and large paths, path compilation, ls, mkdir, rmdir, and practice working with directories. Uh, okay, the first step is uh, pwd means just uh, print the current working directory where you are working right now. You are, uh, for example, in my case, I am in the home directory. Actually, every user, when, when you log into a Linux system, you can find the your own home directory. Every user has uh, his own working directory. That is home directory. So this is my home directory. And uh, if I wanted to change uh, from one directory to another directory, I can use CD. For example, if I wanted to change to etc, that is uh, this uh, slash represents the root directory uh, because etc is found in the root directory. As I showed earlier in the previous video tutorials, you can see that the etc and when you enter, now I am in the etc directory, I can check where I am. I am the etc working directory. Uh, if I wanted to change back to the home directory, I can just print uh, cd space dot dot. This is one uh, step back change where the previous directory, the previous directory was home uh, directory. Uh, I mean, uh, now root directory. I should change to home. No, this is my working directory. Yeah, I am currently uh, in, in my home directory. Uh, you can change your current directory with the cd command change directory uh, like this, pwd, just print. Uh, this represents uh, symbol represents the uh, that is a trick. A trick with CD uh, means just typing CD without a target directory will put you in the home directory, in your home directory. For example, if I change my directory to root, now I am in the root directory, okay? Uh, and I wanted to change to the home directory, my own home directory, because root is not my home directory. Root is managed by the uh, super user. So I am just uh, uh, in the super user directory, but I wanted to change to my own directory, cd, then this symbol. I am currently my own directory, all right. Uh, to, to go to the parent directory, the one just above your current directory in the directory tree, type cd uh, like this. Uh, if, uh, for example, cd etc. I am the etc directory. etc is found in the root directory. If I want to the parent directory of etc, what is the parent directory of etc? The parent directory of etc is a root directory. So I can use this symbol. I am now in the root directory, but, uh, and you want to change to the home directory, you can just use the, earlier, the previous commands I used. The other is absolute and large passes. When you type a pass starting with a slash, then the root of the file tree is assumed. For example, cd, this is that the root directory uh, of your file system. Uh, and then the current directory is assumed starting point. And when you inside home, you have to type cd paul instead of cd 
power. Uh, as, uh, in this case, you, sh you should be careful if you are in the home directory. For example, let me uh, list my home directories. Uh, desktop is one uh, directory. If I wanted to change to desktop, I don't use like this because uh, because this uh, represented the root directory, but I am desktop is my own directory and I want to change to the desktop. I just uh, use, you see, such file, no such file or directory. So you can use desktop like this without forward slash because you are in the current directory, all files uh, or directories are in your own home directory. So now I am in the uh, desktop directory. This is uh, all my desktop files uh, available. And I wanted to change back to, uh, back to the home directory uh, or normally uh, I can work on desktop. So I am now on desktop. I can check my disk, uh, current working directory. That is home, no uh, desktop. I am on my own directory that is desktop directory. Every user has a desktop directory. Uh, pass compilation is one uh, important thing. The tab key can help you in typing a pass without errors. Typing CD, for example, AT, if you don't know the full uh, file follow, uh, folder or directory name, you can simply uh, remember the first uh, uh, letter of your uh, the directory name, you can just uh, type in tab and you automatically it, it's going to complete the passes of your directory that you want to change. For example, let me change to the home directory and I wanted to change to AT, ATC and I can complete by tabbing, uh, pressing tab key. It's going to complete automatically. I can list all the files which is uh, located in the ATC because all configuration files are going to be found in the ATC file. All right. Uh, LS is a command that, that it, uh, you can list the contents of a directory with LS as ls like this all the files which is found in the uh, atc ls minus a is you can check this is an option that uh, includes all files and ls minus l long list which includes the user for example in this file atc all the files are and the permission read write the root that is the user when the file is modified or created the date the size of the file the time everything going to be uh, listed out if you use the option long list l so this is a way how you can list the files or directories in your working directory because i am on the uh, etc working directory and I want to change it to back to my home directory all right trick off okay many times you will be using options with a list to uh, display the contents of directory in different formats or to display different parts of the directory typing just ls gives you a list of files in the current working directory and time is type is typing ls minus l that is a letter a not the number one l gives you a long uh, listing and the other is ls lh another frequently used ls uh, is long list files for example lh that is the same which includes the size of your file, size, how many uh, kilobytes, megabytes, which uh, your file or 
uh, directory is. And uh, the permission of the file along with the user. For example, these two files are root user, administered by root user, flutter, fl uh, flask admin, and so on. Uh, the other most important uh, uh, command is mkdir. That uh, working around the Unix file tree is fun, but it is even more fun to create your own directories with mkdir. Now I am in the home. I wanted to change it to desktop. Desktop. The first letter in desktop is, uh, as you can see here, capital. So you be, you be careful. Uh, when uh, uh, working on Linux, because everything is uh, case sensitive. So, uh, small letter desktop uh, is different from uh, this one. So, you should be careful. You keep in mind the case sensitivity of Linux uh, system or commands. Now, I am on the desktop and I want to, those are all the files on my desktop, and I want to uh, create. Uh, for example, mkdir uh, Linux 2. Now I have created a Linux 2. I can uh, list uh, with long list. Uh, where is my newly created uh, directory? Uh, can you see? This is the newly created uh, directory. Uh, the permission, the user, the size, this is 4K. When it is created July 25, at what time? That is seven, uh, one o'clock around. And so on. the file is Linux, the directory name is Linux uh, name. Okay, you can clear this for our current. Uh, uh, graphically, you can see, uh, for example, let me, let me show you, uh, where is my Linux, where is my Linux, 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 or, uh, okay, this one, this is, yeah, graphically in on uh, Kali Linux, you can create, uh, graphically, create folder, like in, uh, Windows. Actually, this layout is uh, Windows, uh, similar with Windows layout. Uh, but uh, working on lin uh, Linux command is very, very useful and uh, uh, for everyday activity. Uh, because if you may work on remote systems, you cannot uh, find the graphical user interface. You can just get the command uh, based Linux or terminal, so you can work on uh, everything through the command. Uh, mkdir p is the to create a parent directory, like for example, mkdir p. When give the option p, then mkdir will create parent directories as needed. Uh, how you can create a parent directories? Uh, let me show you. For example, mkdir <coughs> minus p that the parent directory, for example, Linux 3, Linux 2, separated by slash, forward slash, Linux 1, then you can enter. Now I can uh, check that I have created Linux 3 with parent directories. When you open up the Linux 3, you can find the subdirectory Linux 2, and when you open up the Linux 2, you can find the subdirectories as Linux 1. You can see the paths of this when you are home, now, desktop, and Linux 3, Linux 2, Linux 1. This is the way how you can create uh, the parent directories using a single command using minus p option, Linux option. Uh, what about remove directory? RMDIR is a way how you can remove directories. So you can just, for example, if I wanna remove the previously created directory, that is Linux 2, RMDIR, just Linux 2. 
now it, it, it is not, if it is successful, it, that file will not be found. I can check on desktop. Okay, Linux 2 is not found here. That was created because it is removed. Uh, what about the parent, for example, rmdir, here I have a parent directory, Linux 3, 2 subdirectories, and I want to uh, delete or remove this, uh, Linux 3. Uh, it is failed because uh, directory not MPT. So if you, uh, it contains a subdirectory, so you can't remove the subdirectories or the files which is the directories which is contains as files uh, using rm there so you can add uh, the command uh, i mean the option p rm there space minus p then linux 3 uh, okay Oh, okay, my mistake here. I should uh, pass all the subdirectories here, but I will show you the best thing here. Now, Linux, uh, the subdirectories are removed, so you can find the directories here. Uh, let me create again the previous. Now I created back the subdirectory. Uh, here, RM, there is an RM. Actually, I will show you uh, later. Uh, okay. Uh, so, this is uh, how you can uh, simply working on directories. Next time, I'll show you how you can uh, work on files. Thanks for watching.